Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about variables in the field of statistics. Now, in today's video, you are expected to understand what a variable is, identify different types of variables. Now, what is a variable? Now, a variable has two defined characteristics. Now, we're talking about here in the uh, statistics context. Now, characteristics of variable, we have number one, attribute of a person or object. And number two, we have varies across people and object. Now, for example, Variables that describe a person might include the following. You have Okay. You have for gender. For gender, for instance, we have male and female. Okay? Although um, it's already a little bit obsolete nowadays because we have more than two options for gender already. Then you also have, for the height, you have, example of a height, you have 5 feet and 6 feet. Or we could also have, um, let's say, 5 to, like 5 feet and 2 inches. Okay? Then we also have the age. For the age, we have 12 years, 50 years, and many more like how about your age you could also have the hair color so example of hair color we have bland brunette or we could also have dark or black just like me or just like your hair in proteins Okay, so these are examples of the attributes. And then, observe the characteristics that describe variables, the height and the age. Okay, we'll focus our attention now with the age and the height. What have you observed? With its characteristics you have the height you have you are given an example there you have five feet and six feet for the age you have 12 years and 50 years and I want you also to observe the characteristics that describe variables for gender and hair color take a look at that Remember, for the gender, you have male and female. And the hair color, you have blonde and brunette. Okay. Now, for height and age, the, the variables here have values. Okay. That's your, that is what we have noticed. The variables have values. Like 5 feet, 6 feet, 12 years, 50 years. On the other hand, for the gender and hair color, these variables are using words. Or you have there some variables use words. The male, the female, blend, and brunette. Now, the variables are classified into two. You have the qualitative and the quantitative. Okay, for the qualitative, of course, as the term suggests, from quality, from the word quality. So, it will definitely use or uses words. And quantitative... From the root word quantity, it definitely 
use numbers and then you have here qualitative variables are also known as categorical variables now qualitative or quantitative let's say if you have the height considering the height if the height is short or tall what do you think should be the answer if you are asked to identify as to whether or not it falls for qualitative or quantitative considering that pictures just for a moment okay considering that picture uh, two pictures you have there for short and tall is it qualitative or quantitative kind of variable? Let's see. Okay. Is it qualitative or quantitative? The answer is qualitative. Okay. Next. The same. Uh, we're talking about height. And this time, we use numbers. You have 63 inches and 69 inches, for instance. The question is, is it qualitative or quantitative? What do you think? You have, it's quantitative. A. Okay. Now, there are two types of quantitative variables. Now, it's very simple for us. To really identify or differentiate uh, qualitative from quantitative. For qualitative, it uses words. For quantitative, it uses numbers. And let us proceed to the two types of quantitative. We have continuous and discrete. Now, what is continuous? So, for continuous, it talks about any value. For discrete, it talks about integers. Okay? So, let's try to look at the example. Let's talk about the weight. For the weight, do you know who's that, whose picture is that? Okay, you are the one of the most popular person in the whole world. You have Manny Pacquiao. So for, for instance, we're talking about the weight. So considering Manny Pacquiao's weight is, let's say, 88.2 kilograms. Mm -hmm. Is it, or let's say 92 kilograms. Is it discrete or continuous? Try to analyze. Okay, it is continuous. As you can see, there are decimal places or decimal points. And let's proceed to the population. You have there, population can be none or zero. Population. Okay, how about that one? We're talking about population. Is it discrete or continuous? Okay, take a look at the pictures. Is it discrete or continuous? What do you think is the answer? It is discrete. Because there is a specific number of population. There is no such thing as population of a dis having a decimal point. Let's say... The population is 2.5. There's no such thing as that. Okay.
Okay? It's a definite number. Now, let us proceed to the summary of key points. Variables are divided into quantitative and qualitative data or variables. We're talking about variables. Under quantitative, you have continuous and discrete. Let's proceed to the summary of key points. Variables are attributes of things by definition. And qualitative variables use words. Quantitative variables use numbers. Continuous variables can be any value from minimum to maximum. Discrete variables have gaps between minimum and maximum. Okay. Since... By the way, this video is just a very short one because we have discussed some of its, uh, we elaborated this already, these concepts in our previous video lesson entitled Introduction to Statistics. And this video, we just simply focus on variables and its classification as well as the two types of quantitative variable, the continuous and discrete, okay? So I hope everything is clear now. So I will be giving here an extra activity for you to work on. Okay, for a moment. Okay, so I think everything is clear with the summary of key points. Now let us proceed to the assessment. Now I will going to read the assessment we have here 10 item test. Here's the instructions. Classify each random variable as either discrete or continuous. Number one, the number of arrivals at an emergency room between midnight and at six o'clock a.m. Number two, the weight of a box of cereal labeled 18, 18 ounces. Number three, the duration of the next outgoing telephone call from a business office. Number four, the number of kernels of popcorn in an 11 pound container. Number five, the number of applicants for a job. Number six, the, de the time between customers entering a checkout lane at a retail store. Number seven, the weight of refuse on a truck arriving at a landfill. Number eight, the number of passengers in a passenger vehicle on a highway at a rush hour. Again, the number of passengers in a passenger vehicle on a highway at rush hour. Number nine, the number of clerical errors on a medical chart. Number 10, the number of accident fee days in one month at a factory. Okay, so I hope that's e very easy for you to answer this because this has been part of our lesson already in the previous video and that's it. Okay, so good luck and I hope you'll get the correct answers. So before we're going to end the video, let's have a quote for today. We have here, life is like math. If it goes too easy, something is wrong. So it is related to a statement wherein um, it is too good to be true. Okay? If you think that it's too good to be true, then it is not true. Okay? Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you on the next video. Bye.